What's going on? How are you guys this Saturday? Today we're going to make a quick, easy, simple garlic oil that can be used on just about anything. And for you guys that saw my day of eating last Thursday, I put it on the bread to make garlic bread. I put it on the pasta to make garlic pasta. And I basted the steak to have a garlic oil steak. And it's kind of surprising it's taken me this many years to make a garlic oil on YouTube, as I'm sure you guys are familiar with garlic butter and lobster. There are so many flavored butters, herb butters that people put on their steaks. And, you know, being carnivore for all of those years, I, I could have been making this stuff. So let's take a look at the ingredients we need. Now, the main reason I actually made this was because I saw that Whole Foods had organic garlic already peeled for only $5, which is a huge amount of garlic. And of course, you could just take, you know, the the whole like heads of garlic and just smash them and you probably have some even better flavor. You could use so much different stuff like thyme, oregano, pretty much any spice or seasoning you can turn into a flavored oil. And I'm using coconut oil and I've said this many times on my channel, it's antimicrobial, particularly antifungal. To me, it's easy on my liver and I get refined even though there are some chemicals and processes you don't like. I just can't stand the taste of regular coconut oil. So uh, this is what I've been using. And, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with MCT oil. This is basically um, MCT oil. So we're gonna cut open three of these and put it in here. In regards to neutral flavored oils, this is certainly the healthiest one. Uh, obviously any type of animal fat, beef tallow, pork lard, is going to have uh, that distinct animal flavor to it. Even olive oil, sesame oil, any of the seed oils are all going to be kind of high in omega-6 and have way too many downsides. So that's really it. So we have this on a very low heat and we're literally just going to leave it on the stove for maybe three or four hours and then it should be done. As you guys can see, our garlic is bubbling away, lightly frying in the coconut oil. Some pieces here and there have caramelized the ones that were actually on the bottom of the pot. And you guys have to experiment with your stove because if I put this lower, the garlic's kind of going to poach in the oil and it's not gonna caramelize it all and brown and, and give out those flavors. If I put this on two or three, you're gonna to have to keep an eye on it. You can't just leave this on the stove top for two hours and forget about it. So you know, depending on how much attention uh, you wanna give this, will dictate how much you wanna experiment with the temperature. So I'll give this another hour and then it should be done. All right, so after about another hour, the garlic is actually fully caramelized and we have a really, really rich smelling garlic oil uh, so I would say this is about as perfect as you can get it. You don't want to go longer than this. And you can even go a little shorter depending on whether you want like a mild garlic flavor or like, you know, that crispy garlic flavor. So that's really it, guys. You want to let this sit for maybe a day or two with the garlic in there. And then you can strain it out if you really want to. Or just leave the garlic as it'll keep continuing to infuse more flavor into that oil. So hopefully this gives you guys like a very easy, simple way to add a lot of flavor to your meals in a reasonably healthy way. If you guys could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, you guys can go to frank stefanocom to support me through all of my businesses. Frankie Syringe Meat, Frankie Syringe Foods, Organ Supplements, Frankie's Naturals, Wi-Fi Shielding, all available at frank-tefano.com. Thanks again, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.